buddy. <laughs> a little bit dim. It's all right. We're all a bit dim in the morning. Morning, bud. What do you want? I think I know what you want. Oh, good boy. I'm not gonna pat you too much because you'll get separation and anxiety when I leave. And you'll be whining and wake Sarah. Oh, you're just too cute sometimes. <sighs> this is what we're dealing with here. Accidents. <sighs> 33% recovery. That's why I'm feeling a bit dusty. However, I am mega excited for today's ride. And I know that's something that people just say on YouTube videos these, de these days. I'm super excited about today. It's gonna be a big day. It's the big day, Gary. But I genuinely am because it's been 16 weeks since I've ridden the road bike past Waterfall. So just riding further than the norm is gonna feel great. And to top it off, I'm riding with three other humans today which is just gonna be this excitement overload. I'm ready! So, yeah, let's get it. I'm ready. Also, I ordered these Polar Pro Sh ND filters for the GoPro, so I've got the ND8 on now. Hopefully it uh, gives a bit more motion blur to my footage, we'll see. He gives away. Not many people do that. <laughs> you just sort of sit there and smile awkwardly as I point a camera in their face. I'm Benny, you'll meet him later. Yeah. Dylan's uh, Dylan's not joining us today. Bye back. That's what. We're just about to pass the furthest point that I've ridden in the last six months. Yeah, the dam is the furthest I rode. Feels good. Feels like freedom. That sounded weird, it's because I was talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, I was like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Up here. It's a bit damp, it's probably for the best. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. One show us what's in your pockets. It's in my pockets, everything. Yeah. I got Ben Ben Survival Kit. I got an LCM bar, a winner's bar, Uncle Toby's honeycomb. I carry nothing. You got uh, Oh wow, but Cliff Nutter Butter. They've changed the packaging. Oh yeah, that's the Oh, that one is, um, ooh, a GU Cola. Mate, you win the award. <laughs> Ben's got the art artisanal award of making his own, and you've just got yeah. quality. We're then trying these gluten-free kids' rice cakes. <laughs> You see them in lunchbox <laughs> or around <laughs> primary schools. They just keep, <laughs> you can't yell at Oh yeah, I've got one more. Let's <laughs> You got a whole roller of goo as well. Nice, well done. What flavor are the, the homemade ones? Uh, they're just uh, cinnamon and sugar, so nice. just sweet rice. Nice. So. Oh wow, and they're nicely wrapped with the baking paper as well. That looks sticky. Yeah. It's okay, you don't, you, don't, you don't need to take it out. That looks hard nah, to get back in. It's, no, I'm gonna eat it anyway. I'm gonna fill it up. Nice. Well, give us a little hunk of the corner. Yeah. <laughs> We're meant to put more sugar in it. And, yeah, that, um, that little bit is perfect. It's meant to have apple juice in it, so it's meant to be sweeter but it's not meant to be that sweet and bland. Oh man, nice. It's like rice pudding, but in a more solid form. The cinnamon really... Mm. Man, you've done well. 
your rice. It's done well. Mmm. Mmm. Should be illegal. It's not good. Bull tail. Let's do it. Morning. It is not my day today. Ultimately fried. Alright, it's like 180 to 200 watts. Just little milestones. Yeah, put in. So I got a flat tire and it's going down real slow, but I just haven't accepted it. So I'm not pulling over yet until I have to. <laughs> do you ever do that? What's down here? Nice place to stop. You get the I am this last. Give us the review. Mm. Like a bit of a burnt caramel. What's the, what flavour are they meant to be? Brown rice, crispy bars, vanilla. It tastes like the crumble you get on sushi. Oh really? Yeah, you know like... Oh yeah, the, I know the one, the crispies. Yeah, that, yeah. The crispies that you get on top. <sighs> Holy, this, this tastes sweeter than ever. Soft. It's just vegan. Oh, it's a business. I don't know if you can hear that, but my brake pad just sounds like absolute trash. It sounds like Mickey Mouse is stuck in there. Just ooh, hear that. Has not stopped for the second half of the ride. I've started to etch into the actual disc there. I don't know if you can see that, but that is not good. Ooh, Chris, what are you done? Upon closer inspection, my brake pads are pretty much ground to the bone. What do you reckon? Did I poop the bed like you on this one? I think so. Come in, boy. Love you, little, little poop head. So see when you look in the top, so see how, how much piston is hanging out the side? Oh, oh that's a good piston. indicator. That, that's, oh, that's it's bad. about it's about to touch the metal as well. Yes. It's gone. Huge thank you to Cyther for helping me out on the spot and keep me rolling through the weekend. I did cop some flack from the guys, but that's to be expected with this level of negligence on my brake pads. I did learn that an easy way to visually check how much of your brake pads are left is to see how much of the piston is showing rather than try and determine how many micromillimeters of brake pad is left. Lastly, I'm still working out how to properly use ND filters and the GoPro. This is my first ride using the ND filters and I ran the GoPro on auto settings just to see what would happen. But what I was noticing as I've been editing is that there's a lot more grain in the image, especially in the low light going through the national park. So that's because the camera has to rely on the ISO to properly expose the image. However, I've also done some testing where I've tried to lock the exposure and shutter speed, but then the image becomes much more shaky. And so I'm still trying to find that happy medium. Um, but ultimately my thoughts are like, is it even worth the hassle, you know? The image benefits don't outweigh the hassles at this point. But I'm gonna keep testing and I'll let you know how it goes. As always, thanks for watching, especially this one. This is my first ride outside the LGA in a lot of months. And I'll catch you on the next ride.